The method with least discrepancy between the true value and computed value for a set of data is true least squares. In this video, the principle of least squares is discussed with different processes of arriving at the equation of linear regression. Welcome to Numerical Solutions to CE Problems. The three different types of measurement errors are discussed in the fundamental concepts of curve fitting. You can go back to the video to better understand what they are. For the principle of least squares, root mean square or RMS is used. This is denoted as E2 with the following formula. Recall that to have the best fit line, the resulting equation should have the minimal error and by checking the formula, we can minimize it by equating the summation of f of x less y squared. So let's work on the principle in detail. We know that the general equation for a line is given by y is equal to mx plus p, where y turned into f of x for approximation, and the slope is taken as a, while the y-intercept is denoted as p. We also focus on the part of the RMS error to be minimized, and that is error 2, which is the summation of the square of the discrepancies between y and f of x. Let's replace f of x with ax plus b, then use calculus to maximize or minimize. In this case, analyze if we have a maximum error. You will realize that there will be no maximum error as we can always place the line so far away from the points, thus taking the derivative will be minimizing the error. Since the formula has two constants, the derivatives will be partially taken between them too. Start with the derivative of E2 with respect to A, and the equation would have to start with the exponent 2, thus having 2 by the whole equation a times x sub k plus b minus y sub k. Then multiply it with the coefficient of a and that is x sub k, and this is equated to zero. If x sub k is distributed among terms in the parentheses, we arrive at the summation of the parentheses a times x sub k squared plus b times x sub k minus x sub k y sub k is equal to zero. Now transpose the third term to the other end so we get the summation of the quantity a times x sub k squared plus b times x sub k, which is equal to the summation of x sub k y sub k. The second derivative will be with e2 with respect to b. And just the same as the equation becomes 2 multiplied by the equation a times x sub k plus b minus y sub k and check b which has no other coefficient so the derivative will just be multiplied by 1 and this is equated to 0. Simplify the equation by disregarding 1 and transpose the term as well to have a times x sub k plus b taking the summation is equal to the summation of y sub k. The first way of solving for the equation of the best fit line is by using matrices. So with the two equations we derived earlier, transform them into matrices with two unknowns, A and B. So we arrive at the first matrix of 2 by 2 size denoted as A, then the vertical vector of unknowns A and B would be equated by a matrix for the Ys, which is denoted as B. We now have AX is equal to B. So by extracting the unknown X, we get B all over A, but take note that there is no division operation in matrices, thus we use the inverse of A multiplied by B. The second way to determine the equation of the best fit line is through systems of equations. From the general equation y is equal to ax plus b, we can account for every point in the data set as the summation of y is equal to a times the summation of x plus n times b. This is considered to be equation 1. 
then multiply the equation with the summation of x, which will then give the summation of x times y is equal to a times the summation of x squared plus b times the summation of x. This is equation 2. Now we have two equations for two unknowns. Another method to solve linear regression is through formulas derived using the slope-intercept equation. From y is equal to mx plus b, the slope m will then be computed as n times the summation of xy minus the summation of x times the summation of y all over n times the summation of x squared minus the square of the summation of x. And the y-intercept is then taken as the summation of y minus m times the summation of x all over n. Check the examples of how these three procedures are used in the next videos. Mm -hmm.